The story of the Garrison Tunnels sounds like it comes from an Indiana Jones movie. A mysterious network of tunnels forgotten for generations after they were sealed up to the public, now rediscovered while renovations on a historic house were being done. The only thing missing is an ancient curse and a skeleton holding a faded treasure map. So the real story is that these tunnels were built around 1820 and used for water drainage and moving soldiers secretly. As you'll hear later in this video when I share a part of the audio tour, the tunnels were in fact sealed up to the public and mostly forgotten until 2011 when renovations on the adjacent George Washington house unearthed an entrance. A little bit of exploration later proved that the vast network consisted of nine tunnels totaling about two miles in length. Unfortunately, most of the tunnels are not currently accessible as they travel underneath the Barbados garrison, home to the Barbados Defense Force and the Barbados Coast Guard Force, thereby posing a security risk. But until further access is granted, enjoy this brief walk through the public portion of the tunnels while listening to the audio guide. the tunnel in a section that has an unusually high ceiling measuring three and a half meters from the floor. It has survived intact over the last 200 years, essentially because of its simple but effective design. Constructed by digging a five meter deep trench into the ground, you can see that the full height of the tunnel in this area was hewn out of the limestone bedrock of the island. The ceiling was then installed using chiseled limestone blocks to form a compression arch. The builders then poured a very thick layer of lime mortar on top of the arch stones before filling in the remainder of the trench with rubble and earth. This lime mortar seal is probably the most significant contribution to the survival of these tunnels as it prevented rainwater from flowing through the joints of the compression arch which would cause erosion and eventual collapse. Though this arch was normally installed at a height of just over two meters, it is higher in this section due to a much deeper cut in the bedrock. In the latter 40 meters of this section of the tunnel, the bedrock was not sufficient to support the ceiling. So imported ballast bricks were used to reinforce walls in order to set the arched ceiling at the minimum required height. The width of the tunnel has also contributed to its longevity. Being generally 60 centimeters wide for much of its length, it allowed for a more reliable compression arch ceiling, which would be more susceptible to failure at greater widths. Interestingly, the narrow design also ensured that any storm water flowed rapidly through the tunnel, preventing any material in the water from settling and causing blockages over time. In other words, this was a self-cleaning 19th century tunnel. <laughs> 